um, dealing with the lunch issues. Gerald the Carpenter is going to be holding the camera for me while I'm jacking with this can. Okay, he gave me some needle nose pliers to try to get a hold of this metal metal band here. And uh, I try to get it loose enough to, okay, I got, got it out there. Now let's see if I can turn this thing. See, that's what the issue I was having every time I tried to, every time I tried to get, get a hold of that, it kept busting off. I was, I made a video, or when I made this video about that I was trying to do this, I said, you know, if this was after some kind of apocalypse and we were trying to survive by eating something, you're you get, find one of these, you might as well say, oh, okay, I'm screwed. I can't, I won't be able to get that off because I'll starve to death before I get it off. I mean, this is the same as that key. See? I mean, that is stupid. The same as the key. Maybe even better because it's... It's got more width on it than that key lip, and uh, <sighs> ow. Okay, so I can see it getting thin right there. This is stupid. I've never seen nothing like this before. Give me this much problems. People that package this stuff are probably laughing the whole time they're packaging it. I, gotta, I can't get that piece off there. There it goes. If I could try this other direction. Yeah, Gerald said then you can edit it. That's because it's going to take 30 minutes just to get this can open. Nobody wants to see you jacking around with the can for 30 minutes. <laughs> I could put some good music to this. This would be a funny video. going to get to the point where it's going to be unsafe to try to eat this. The 
this is Gerald's little multiplier. I mean, this thing right here is sharp. It acts as a can opener. Just going to see if it can't speed this up a little bit. Let's see. How much further do I got? Looks like about two inches, maybe. Let's see. Can I? Okay. Let's just see. Was it worth all that trouble? Man. Gonna smell like a meat a meat locker in here. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see after I get it out of there and, and get all the infected areas off and make sure there's no metal shards and I might do a review on it, but uh, um, we'll see. Um, Thanks, Gerald, for doing the, the camera for me. And uh, thank you all for watching. Let me know if you've had this kind of problem before. And we will see you all in the next one. All right, bye.